Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Star Wars Miniatures. We have another battle scenario. And today we have the Mandalorians, long awaited. And then we have the Sith. Now, it's going to be kind of hard to see because I've been having some lighting problems, but uh, it'll soon be corrected in the next few months, hopefully. The Sith, or the battle board that we're playing with is the Valley of the Dark Lords. So the Sith Lords in the back there are in the back deep dark depths of the valley. Valley of the Dark Lords. So their troops are staked out in the ruins up here. The glare is a little bad but uh, they are fallen pillars and whatnot. And the Mandalorians have attacked. Now Mandalore the Indomitable the Indomitable is leading them. He's the gentleman in the back. And then we have a Basilisk war droid. It's perhaps the most stunning feature of the board. That's one of my favorite models. And uh, he's joined the fray. Now the Mandos obviously are here to kill the Sith Lords. Uh, their stats, stat cards are down here. Got quite an assortment of Mandalorians. This is my entire Mandalorian collection don't have a lot of them but uh, I have enough to form an army near the Sith I did supplement the Sith with a couple uh, with three neutral characters uh, two healing droids and a human technician and uh, they're out there with the right there with the uh, the droids because there's three droids out there I also like to point out that uh, in this battle I'm including a hidden feature that uh, there's something out of place in this battlefield and this one thing is uh, a prelude to an X-Wing a new X-Wing card that's going to come out in Wave 10 and uh, I know Wave 10 might already be out by the time I say this but uh, it's a little hint so I want to see if anyone can figure out the, the Easter egg in this video. The thing that is out of place. Uh, you'll definitely see it at some point in the video, so stay tuned and uh, go ahead and leave a point or a message in the comments and let us know at what point in the video that you found uh, this Easter egg. We'll see who can, who uh, got it the closest or got it the the soonest, quickest. That's the word I'm looking for. All right. Without further ado, uh, I'm going to roll for initiative, see who's going first. So the Sith will be going first, which is going to be brutal because those war droids in the front have flamethrower effect. So if they were able to move far enough, which they might be able to, they'll be able to flamethrower uh, those front mandos with the melee weapons and uh, going to toast them up real good. Not enough to kill them, but... Uh, Enough to do a good amount of damage just to kick things off. Alright, I'll see you back after the first battle report. Alright. First round is done, and we have a lot of bloodshed. Right off the bat, the flame droids moved up and wreaked havoc on the Mando side. They weren't able to get any kills, of course, but uh, they were able to wound a bunch and then allow the troopers to... Uh, get some good hits off. Troopers are able to do sufficient damage, kill a bunch of Mandos, and uh, the, Sith op the Sith operative, who was over on the far side, uh, just mowed down a couple of those, uh, two Mandos actually, because they got double attacked, he didn't move. And uh, unfortunately he was gunned down by a scout. Uh, several of the people were gunned down that far end. The Mandos lost a lot, but they pushed through and killed everyone. So they're making headway. The Mandos were also able to retaliate on those dro Sith flame droids. Uh, killed one of them. The other one's half dead. The shields were holding. And the shields were a massive reason why the Mandos were unable to kill that last droid. And why they had so much difficulty with the first one. The Mandos rolled horrible. Otherwise, I think they, they had the advantage going in. And the reason why Axar Khan's up there is because he used Sith sorcery to kill one of his uh, kill his engineer that was up there healing. 
Yeah, that was close up that engineer. And uh, the engineer was healing the droid, did his duty, went up and healed, and then XR Khan killed him to get up to the battle to take his place. Uh, that is a Sith power if I've ever seen one. The Basilisk War droid is still working on getting up here. Took a pot shot at the uh, flame droid and failed. He's still working on getting up there. Then uh, all the medics were able to heal at least 10 damage off of uh, one droid. So they chose different droids, but you know, they at least get utilized one each to their job. Only one of those healers are, are left. Uh, one was killed by an enemy, one was killed by Exar Khan, and then the droid is, uh, last droid is chilling up there. Um, so they're still working on getting up here. Didn't really lose any other troopers. Uh, so far the dark side has only lost two medics, a uh, Sith war droid, and a Sith operative. Mandos have lost a Mandalorian soldier, Mandalorian trooper and three Mandalorian warriors. The warriors are the melee ones, not the best. There's a lot of damage out there. The Mandalorian Super Commando, Super Commando was able to to get 30 damage on Exar Kun. Highly impressive. And uh, come to think of it, no, he failed the second attack. That's right. All right, and I roll for initiative. Mando's getting initiative this time, so uh, it's gonna be a different game. It might be a different round. They might be able to do some serious hurt to the uh, Sith this time. I know the Sith will be hurting if they lose Xar Khan because uh, he makes up 84 points out of this uh, 482 point list. So he's a large chunk. I mean, almost, almost a fifth by himself. Alright, so back to battle. Both sides are still advancing towards one another. We had some interesting turnabouts. You see the Mandalorian and the red cape up there. He's facing against his... He's pointing his gun against his friends because he rolled a one on an attack. And he is a Death Watch Raider. And he has the ability... Internal Strife, which is when he rolls a 1 on attack, he switches sides. So, that's why he is now on the Sith side. Uh, the Mandalorian Basilisk War Droid rode right over the Sith line up here. And when he does that, he can attack every opponent whose base he uh, obstructed as he flew over. So he gets to attack everyone pretty much, all the troopers on that side, gave them all 30 damage, which killed several troopers. Uh, every regular trooper on that side is dead. The only remaining trooper is up in the middle, squatting down. And uh, the captain and the commander on the Sith side both took 30 damage. Uh, Mandalorian scout tried to go up there, and he, he, I think the scout actually killed one of the troopers. And then uh, that uh, Dark Jedi used Force Lightning and killed him in one hit. Because he was damaged from flames. That Tongue Warrior is wounded as well. He got shot by one of the troopers. And uh, he's getting ready to face off and lose against that Dark Jedi. And uh, the Sith Lords are finally getting to the fray. They haven't attacked yet, but they're getting close. We have... Uh, Naga Sadao and hiding behind the pillar is uh, I always forget his name Darth Nihilus one of my favorite Sith Lords but uh, still I forget his name <laughs> he's uh, getting close but still not close enough to engage yet uh, his, the Sith is actually the Sith are actually doing a good job of clearing the battlefield of opponents that Marauder went up and just cleaved a guy right in half and um, uh, the raider wasn't, obviously didn't do anything, but, uh, he's probably gonna <laughs> cut down some of those wounded mandos up there. Mandalorians are really wounded. Uh, the only one that's not, the only one that's, uh, 
doing some hardcore damage right now on the Mando side is the War Droid and Mandalore the Indomitable. In fact, I'm pretty certain that Exar Kun could die this turn. Um, Mandalore is, is beating him down. Uh, Mandalore, stat-wise, is very similar to Exar Kun. A little worse, but the fact that Exar Kun is alone in enemy territory up there uh, is a pretty good sign that he's probably going to die, especially with that Super Commando uh, rolling his number all day long. Uh, Exar Kun can't stand up against that, and now that he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, it's good to the end. He's uh, running out of force chips, and... Uh, he has enough to do to amplify his damage again. He amplified it last time to take a, a Mandalorian out with one swing, but uh, he's run out of force points, and uh, Mandalore the Indomitable is full health. And uh, that Super Commando is backing him up, and same thing with the Captain, and all of them. They're all giving commander effects to their buddies. So we're talking a lot of double attacks, a lot of twin attacks, and a lot of mobile attacks if they choose. So he's in trouble. And Mandalorians roll the initiative again, and uh, most of them get bonuses on uh, when they attack an opponent who has not activated yet. So Sith are going to lose a lot in the first round. And uh, I don't think XR can die before he activates. Uh but uh, a bunch of their people can <laughs> like the uh, basically all the regular trooper leaders on the Sith lines could die um, that Basilisk war droid does one more pass over their lines uh, you can count those captains as dead and uh, it'll be up to the Sith to take that war droid down be an interesting battle. Just a little quick overview of the dead. This is the Sith lines. Those are those droids. Oh yeah, the other flame droid went down. He's kind of skewed up there. And here's the Mando side. Mando's lost the uh, some more soldiers. The other Death, Death Watch Raider got killed. One flipped sides and the other one died. And then all the warriors are dead now. No more melee for uh, the Mandos. The Blade Master died too. The only melee character they have left is uh, the Indomitable, Mandalore, oh, the Tongue Warrior, and uh, Jedi Hunter. Almost forgot about the Jedi Hunter. He, Jedi Hunter's up there still. He is up there between Naga Sadao and. Uh, a Death Watch Raider. So you can do some work. Anyway, on to the next round. Another quite interesting round. A uh, lot of death. Basilisk War Droid flew over and once again uh, killed a bunch of troopers. He finished off that line. The captain and commander both died. And he hurt the Dark Jedi and moved on. This is the Sith dead. Some of the droids are spewed. Uh, thrown around, but uh, all right. Yeah, Dark Jedi moved up, cut down that Tong warrior, like I, like I said. Uh, not much happened on the other side of the board. Jedi Hunter got annihilated by the Marauder. Didn't think it was possible, but uh, he took a critical, and then he got double tacked. Marauder chopped him down. Uh, Put 60 damage on him, which is his health. So he's dead. He didn't do a single thing. Kind of pitiful. And uh, moving on, Xar Khan is down to 10 hit points. He took a beating, like I thought. But uh, like I also said, he didn't die. <laughs> so he's still holding in, but uh, in there. But uh, he's pretty much dead. One thing I didn't see coming is. Uh, the Indomitable took 60 damage, so he's half dead. But uh, with Exar Kun dead, he's not going to have anyone that really compares to him stat-wise, minus the other two remaining Sith Lords. Whoa, camera's moving. And uh, 
Mandalorians are dwindling in number for sure. That uh, Super Commando is back there. And the guy in the far top right. He is going to pick some people off. He's a sniper and has a pretty good stats and deals 30 damage a hit. So he's going to be able to snipe the hell out of these remaining Sith that are moving up. There's still a Sith Trooper squatting down in the middle up there. Somehow he survived not only getting shot by a Scout Mandalorian that had double attack and twin attack on him. And not only did he survive getting shot at the shot at by a Mandalorian commander, and not only did he survive getting shot by a Basculus war droid. But he's also moved into the middle of the battlefield, and uh, I was gonna say he took a hit on the, the uh, he got a hit on the Basilisk war droid, but that's not true. Uh, Darth Nihilus did that. He actually is engaging it right now in true epic fashion. It's a Sith Lord versus a Basilisk war droid. Quite a quite a scene over there. And uh, the Basilisk war droid is down to. Uh, six, seven, eight, uh, twenty hit points. So he's gonna lose that fight, but uh, unless the force is with that guy. But uh, my bets on the Sith Lord, Darth Nihilus, will probably. I'm gonna say if he took twenty damage, he probably just he'll probably just use a force chip to uh, take twenty health right out of that thing and kill it. But now I think about it, he doesn't have any damage, and the war droid is not force sensitive, so he's going to have to use the 10 damage at a time thing. But regardless, he'll probably just hit him with the lightsaber and finish it off. But uh, the battle's going pretty, pretty well still for the Sith. The Marauder is full health, and uh, nope, nope, no, he actually took a shot. 30 damage. I didn't see that. Uh, so he's uh, he's still cruising along though. He's still a major threat, and that dark Jedi still has a force chip left. He's gonna make short work of that commander. They're gonna break through that right flank with the basilisk, basilisk war droid no longer a threat. Uh, Sith have initiative on this one too. So if they kill that war droid, and if they uh, kill the Indomitable, either or if they do that right away. Uh, Mandos are, are pretty much done. Their only hope is to uh, kill Exar and uh, kill one of the other Sith power players before this is all over. If not, the Sith are definitely going to win. Back to the next round. Well, the carnage was unprecedented. I left the characters on the board to show how bloody it was. So, first off, Sith had initiative, they killed the Basilisk war droid. Then Mandalore was killed by Exar Kun. Um, Exar Kun got three attacks, triple attacks. He didn't move. He just he could have ran, but he stayed and killed the Indomitable. But then the Mandalore's turn came. The Mandalorian's turn came, and uh, the Mandalorian commander gunned down Exar Kun. He had double attack on him. Failed the first attack. Second attack, shot him. Then moving on, the other uh, commander down here killed the Dark Jedi. It's fucking brutal, a lot of kills. <laughs> Pardon the language. And uh, we had, jeez. Uh, oh, another switch sides by the Raider. He switched sides back to the Mandalorian side. Uh, I like to think it's because the Mandalore died. He's like, oh, you should join, you know, the Sith, or they'll take us prisoner. Oh, nope, they killed the Mandalore. Okay, time to be a Mandalorian again. But, uh, so he's back on the Mandalorian side. I thought the Mandos were going to go down in one round uh, when Mandalorian died, when Mandalore died. Uh, got pretty brutal, lost another commander up there. Uh... The Marauder did some damage, and then uh, Naga Sadao did two uh, Force Storm abilities, because remember he can spend Force Points two times per round. 
He had been building that pool and just burned four force chips to do 40 damage to both of them. That's one commander dead, and that scout has 10 health left. The Mandos will probably hold on one more turn, but they're all wounded. There's not a single Mandalorian without damage. Uh, that raider, when he switched sides, he got shot by the elite Sith trooper. He's like, oh, you're on that side? Okay, you're going to get shot. Sith are definitely going to win. Uh, all right, I lied. It's getting pretty epic. We have four Mandalorians versus three Sith. Darth Nihilus is still full health, and he killed a raider on the way up there. And uh, the Marauder killed another, but he took a shot from the Super Commando. He's down to 20 health, but he still has both Force chips. Nihilus still has all his chips, and then uh, they have one Sith Trooper that very lucky guy who also just faced down three attacks well uh, five attacks from three different Mandalorians and survived again he's also been unable to do any damage this entire game this entire game so that's uh, the other side of that coin he's the luckiest unlucky guy I know but uh, coming down to it there might be a game here. Mandalorians have initiative. So if they kill the Marauder, which they could, they might be able to gun down Nihilus before he gets close enough to do enough damage to them. They're wounded, but they're not 10 health wounded. So he will have to get close and he will have to do lightsaber damage or really slowly pick them off. It'll take six turns for him to pick them off at range, though. Only three if he can reach them at close range though so they could run but uh... they don't have twin attack so they'd be giving up their double attacks if they ran the super commando back there is sitting pretty he could do some serious damage to Nihilus because I didn't realize Nihilus only has a hundred health he's the weakest uh, health wise of the Sith Lords and his defense is only fifteen so we'll see. Well, everything proceeded exactly as I had foreseen it. The Bandos did a substantial amount of damage and fought gallantly. But in the end, he hunted them down, Nihilus hunted them down, and choked the life out of them with the Force. And recovered some health back in the process. He ended the game with 50 hit, or 50 hit points left. So, uh, 50 damage is what he took. Uh, he healed like 30 of it though, so he would have been a little closer to dead. But uh, yeah, the Sith Trooper fought gallantly again and uh, did some damage to help Nihilus before he died. But uh, the Commando got tired of that and went over and killed him. So, uh, oh, and the Trooper did finally get a hit. He killed uh, the Mandalorian Commando, uh, one of the Commanders. So that was interesting. But, uh, yeah. And uh, we're, we've reached the end of the video now, so it's time to reveal the hidden Easter egg. Easter egg was, in case anyone realized, Human Engineer. Human Engineer was the, was not actually featured in this video. The actual person who took his place was Boshek. Boshek is going to be featured in the X-Wing game. His card is going to make things really interesting. He is going to allow you, if you bump a, another ship, to change its maneuver dial to another uh, to an adjacent maneuver, which is going to make the game very interesting. Some people think it's going to break it, but uh, we've thought that before. So anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe, and don't forget to comment when you, uh, when or if you figured out that it was Boshek. I tried to zoom in on him, get a little closer, but uh, it's hard to do. Now at the end, I was gonna sh show some close-ups of my figures because they're beautiful figures. Hope you all enjoyed watching, and here is our victor.
Darth Nihilus. Let's get some more shots of Boshek. And even though Mandalore failed, he is one of my favorite characters as well. <laughs> Much less important. But Mandalore the Indomitable was not an easy character to get, so I value him immensely, along with my other Sith Lords, Naga Sadao. And I actually have two Exarchons because, I don't know, I'm lucky like that. <laughs> I'm going to be looking to sell one if anyone's interested in and interested they can PM me but uh not uh sure what I'm gonna do with him. And then of course the beautiful Basco Squad droid. Gotta love that thing. And I was quite ecstatic when I opened that out of a random random box. Yeah I don't like to buy my figures individually. I have quite the extensive collection. I have Darth Sidious too but I'm not really sure when to use him. I also have the Emperor. I, the Emperor is my favorite Star Wars character, fun fact. But uh, one of my other favorites is Darth Nihilus. It's the mask. But anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know who your favorite Star Wars character is too. And uh, I might have him. And uh, let me know if you want me to feature any characters or certain scenarios in a battle and I will do that I take requests people are surprised but uh, same thing with X-Wing if I got the game if it was Star Wars I, I, I do have the game and uh, if I have the characters I will implement them and I probably have the characters too because I'm a collector so anyway thanks for watching subscribe